Hello, I'm Scott Kane, and we're here at the London Stock Exchange. Um, it's the beginning of Global Entrepreneurship Week, which is a rallying point for a worldwide movement of entrepreneurial people. I've got three guests with me here now. I'm going to uh, turn initially to Bronwyn. Uh, Bronwyn, uh, can you tell me about uh, what is the Clean and Cool mission? The Clean and Cool mission is a collaboration between Polcat, which is the company that I'm from, the Technology Strategy Board, Volans and Enterprise UK. Um, it is a competition to find 20 of the fastest moving UK companies active in the clean tech sector. Uh, the successful applicants will go over to San Francisco to meet with investors and partners to help them grow their business. As well as surfacing blueprints of excellence across the tea, clean tech uh, sector, we're also going to be asking questions about what the UK really needs to do to support these companies. Things like finances, policies, regulation, consumer awareness. And we intend to produce a report that we can share to stimulate discussion when the mission ends. Fantastic. Uh, David, can I ask you, um uh, what is the Technology Strategy Board and indeed the government hoping to get out of this and um, why are you involved? The Technology Strategy Board's mission is to support innovative UK businesses. Uh, what businesses want is a view of a future market. One of the most certain markets we have at the moment is the need to deal with uh, the causes of climate change and the effects of climate change. So what we're doing is working uh, with Volans and, and Polcat to actually find the most innovative companies in this space at the moment and help them grow more quickly than they would otherwise do. Um, John, if I could ask you, why is Volans involved? Um, and also, can you explain a little bit to me about what clean and cool actually means? Hmm. Well, we're involved, Scott, because this is a revolutionary time and around the world, uh, scientists, uh, innovators, entrepreneurs, investors are piling into a whole bunch of new uh, sectors and it's really important that they do that but to the point about clean and cool um, for about 30 or 40 years now we've been trying to clean up our air and our water and so on um, and huge uh, successes to report there but huge challenges still facing us in countries like um, India, Indonesia, China, wherever and the problem with much clean technology I, I, uh, where we're cleaning up pollution is that it uses energy uh, to do that and so ideally you would have technologies that, which from the very outset did not have to have the clean-up activities strapped on. Clean, important, cool, absolutely critical because with the climate increasingly um, uh, destabilised, we've got to radically cut back on uh, the uh, production of greenhouse uh, gases. And as it happens, California has been really ra rather remarkably uh, good at that. And, and um, over the last... Um, 15 years or so, uh, the electricity consumption per capita in California has stayed pretty stable, whereas in the rest of the United States has gone up 60%. The reason is, one of the key reasons is that the government in California has had very, very um, powerful uh, policies in place to encourage uh, companies to do uh, the right thing. So it's a revolutionary moment in all of this. Uh, David, can I ask you, what are the companies going to get out of this? These companies uh, have a big challenge in front of moving this area is, as John, John said, the, the, the challenge is huge, but that means that the opportunity is huge too. Um, when you're starting in a company, you, you, you think you have the answer, but it's actually very important to test your ideas. One of the great things about uh, going out to California is, as John said, the regulatory environment is particularly challenging. They've been asking all the difficult questions for a long time now. It, it is basically the center of, of, of venture capital uh, thinking at the moment and, and there are an awful lot of companies out there working across all the different parts of, of the clean tech uh, environment around California. So they can go out and they can test their ideas. They will be challenged uh, in all sorts of ways both from their peers, from, from potential regulators and from potential financiers and they will come back with better ideas and I think that's an important point John that, that, that these people will come back with a new set of ideas. I think they'll come back not only with ideas, but my hope would be uh, that they would also come back with a clearer sense of what they would be wanting investors, mainstream business, and uh, public policy makers to do to support more of their uh, activity. And Bowen, uh, are there some deadlines? When do people need to enter this by? Um, the applications are open today, and they close on the 8th of January. 
The companies need to have traded for about two years, preferably with some revenues showing, uh, be innovative with really good references uh, from known people in the sector. And um, we will announce the finalists in the second or third week of January. Thank you very much. I hope you have a great, clean and cool mission.